Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything politics and especially about the 2023 presidential election. The, the Tinubu camp, that is the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, as what Bola made Tinubu's camp, seems to be worried over P2B's inclusion of uh, Tinubu's alleged drug connection in the 90s as one of the grounds to disqualify him from the 2023 presidential election and declare his votes a wasted vote. You know, that was one of the grounds that uh, Peter B, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, is using to to seek the disqualification of Aswad Bola from the 2023 presidential election and declare and for the court to declare his vote a wasted vote that is, so that it will appear as if he did not participate in the election. Uh, it seems that this particular prayer of Peter Obi is giving the APC, especially the Tinubu team, sleepless nights. And uh, this has so rattled them that they are looking for solution to it. And uh, they seem to have found a solution round about it. And in their excitement, they have let the cat out of the bag. So we are going to see whether what they are putting their strength upon on this matter is permissible or whether they still need to do more if they hope to stand a chance of Aswad Bola Metinubu not to be disqualified as a candidate in the election based on this alleged link which drug cartel in the 90s. And uh, who else to show us that they know how to handle the matter than Bayon Anoga, the very loquacious Bayon Onanoga. Is the one to tell us that they don't give a damn, that they have a solution to it. And before I tell you what Bayon Anoga said about Tinubu's alleged drug links and the 2023 presidential election petition tribunal, if you are new to my channel, and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. Bayo Onanuga, Chief Spokesman for President elect, as declared by the INEC. Bola Tinubu on Saturday argued that his principal cocaine racket in the United States happened more than 10 years ago and cannot therefore be used as a basis to truncate his victory at the polls last month. Let me uh, reiterate what Bayon Anoga said because he said it with a lot of confidence. 
Bayo Onanoga, chief spokesman for president-elect, as declared by Anek Bola Metinubu on Saturday, argued that his principal cocaine racket in the United States happened more than 10 years ago and therefore cannot be used as a basis to truncate his victory at the polls last month. That is what is giving them confident that they can handle that aspect of the petition and prayers by Peter Obi of the Labour Party. In a very dis the disrespectful way, this is how he described the obedience. This is what he called them. He said, the obedience don't read. That is a corruption of the obedience. He called them the obedience. You know what he, where he was going. You know, he, have, he has an uh, asabic as way of expressing himself. And one day it may put him in trouble with the law. He said, the obedience don't read. They live in a cocoon of falsehood and contrived propaganda. Mr. Onanoga said, while responding to a tweet from Ayobe, another surrogate of Mr. Tinubu, who said the new Nigerian leader, as announced by Anek, cannot be sacked by the Supreme Court because his established drug trafficking case in Chicago was already statute barred. Mrs. Obey cited Section 1371E of the Constitution that said a Nigerian cannot be a Nigerian cannot be elected president within 10 years of a conviction for offenses brought by the Code of Conduct Bureau. She went further to say that uh, a person shall not be qualified for election to the office of the president if within a period of less than 10 years before the date of the election to the office of president he has been convicted and sentenced for an offense involving dishonesty or he has been found guilty of the contravention of the code of conduct, the section said. So this is the thing that is giving them confidence. You know, I obey herself as a lawyer. So this is what is giving them, they feel that it has 10 years has passed since the Nubu was accused, was allegedly convicted. Because if you are not, if you didn't commit a crime, you can't forfeit. And we're going to look at the definition of forfeiture as defined by the central, central uh, uh, by the Supreme Court in a judgment that was presided over by the present Chief Justice of the Federation, Ulukayode. So that those who are deceiving others, saying that Tinubu's for future is not an admission of crime, you see the definition of, of for future as defined by the Supreme Court. And uh, strangely and interestingly, it was this present Chief Justice of Nigeria, before he became Chief Justice of Nigeria, that ruled on the case between Abacha and the federal government, where he defined what is for future. Okay, so that you don't buy into all those who are saying that Tinubu just forfeited $460,000. Uh, that is, it doesn't mean that he. It's, it did anything wrong. It was just a mere for future. It, it's beyond that. Now, Miss, Mrs. Obey 
Ayobe, who is sat in a section of the constitution that say that after 10 years, the person can be, is free to contest for president. Anybody that has been convicted after 10 years can, can, be, can, be, can be allowed to contest the election. However, Mrs. Obe left out the preceding section of the Constitution, Section 137, 1D, that disqualified anyone who had been fined for any offenses in the past from becoming president. That section, which applies to Tenubus for future of over $460,000 due to drug crimes in Chicago, in 1993, did not give any timeline, did not give any timeline. This section showed that there is no timeline under which a convict can be released to run for Nigeria's presidency. So, and this one is the one that concerned Aswad Bola Metinubo. And from all indication, he's, he's not going to benefit from any issue about status bar that 10 years have passed, no. Because in his own case, this is what the law states. A person shall not be qualified for election to the office of president if he is under a sentence of death imposed by any competent court of law or tribunal in Nigeria or in a sentence of imprisonment or fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called, or for any other offense imposed on him by any court or tribunal, or substituted by a competent authority for any other sentence imposed on him by such a court or tribunal. So this is the one that takes care of us the So there is no statute bar. So what by Onanuga and Ayobe want to do was to deceive Nigerians by saying that there's a statute bar. And why they did this was to build their own confidence and the confidence of their supporters. Because already many of them are worried about this matter despite the fact that there are a lot of people who believe that Ashwad Balam Etinubu is so powerful uh, that he has uh, all the, he can pull all the strings uh, to wriggle himself out of any problem in Nigeria. Okay, but many of them are still uh, worried that something may go wrong. And, uh, their man will be disqualified. Now, in 2014, the Supreme Court defined forfeiture as punishment for an offense under Nigerian criminal status. Under Nigeria's criminal status, statutes. Now, one of the things that, uh, including Festus Kiyama, are uh, using to confuse Nigeria is to tell you that the forfeiture of $460,000 to the U.S. government by Aswad Bola Metinubu is not an admittance of any wrongdoing. It was just uh, an innocent uh, a transaction because Tinubu was uh, accidentally was uh, linked with some crowd that he didn't know what they were doing and stuff, and he just uh, a victim of circumstance. And that it wasn't. In fact, he was saying that it was uh, taxes that Tinubu did not pay. That was that's four hundred sixty thousand dollars represent. But it's not so. For future, the Supreme Court defined it here as punishment for offense under Nigerian criminal statutes, okay? And that is what it means, even in U.S., because what that money they collected from Chinubu in 1993, 
is, is said, is alleged to be proceed of narcotics, proceeds of narcotics. If it is money that was generated by Tinubu through his accounting business as an accountant, he could be able, he, 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 he couldn't have taken that money because he would have defended himself vehemently, stating that, look, this is money I, 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 I suffered to make. This is the consultancy job I did. This is the works that I executed that I generated, I generated this money. You can't take it away from him. It means that even himself couldn't give account of that money, how he come about it, if not for the alleged link of narcotics. Obviously, that's what it means for the forfeiture. And the, the, in 2014, in 2014, the Supreme Court defined forfeiture as punishment for an offense under Nigerian criminal statute. Now, the Supreme Court defined the word for future. It said the word for future means this vesture without compensation, the loss of a right, privilege, or property because of a crime, breach of obligation, or neglect of duty. The court ruled on January 17, 2014, in Mohammed Abacha versus the federal government of Nigeria. And uh, going forward, this is uh, what uh, Justice Ulukayode Arewola defined for future, what it's all about. He said, a person who forfeited property on the basis of a crime cannot be entitled to indemnity. For future is a form of punishment. There is no indemnity in our criminal procedure. The court further stated in a major decision delivered by Justice Olukayode Arewola. That was before he became the Chief Justice of Nigeria. That was in 2014. Now, we all know that Tinubu's drug case is among the key grounds for Mr. Tinubu's uh, disqualification in the election petition filed by the Labour Party presidential candidate P2B against the declaration of Tinubu as president-elect in the February 25 presidential election. Now, this is very interesting. This is going to be a matter that will nail as well as to go or in the end set him free. Because, you know, this matter had been hovering around since 1999, when he became governor of Lagos State. But now this is the first time that somebody is bringing it up in a court of law in Nigeria, especially who bring it up, up to the Supreme Court to settle the matter once and for all about this forfeiture and the alleged uh, drug link of, of Aswadbala Metinubu in the 1990s. He's giving them worry, his team worry, they are concerned about it, but they, 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 they tend to pretend that it doesn't matter, that, they, that it's, it's, a, it's, a not, it's a legal issue that they will could easily pass at any time. But the authority they are citing, they are not giving the total authority, which shows that there is no way of escape. There is no, it's not statute bar that they are depending upon. And what I find even very strange is that 
by 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 on Anoga saying what he said, it means he's admitting of his principal's participation in the alleged uh, drug connection, only that it is now started bad. Even by that alone, it's enough to put a lot of Nigerians off. But of course, we know that a lot of Nigerians themselves do not care. They do not care. They have no, they lack moral, morality. They, not, nothing shocks them. Nothing shocks them. As long as they are connected with us, they could be able to get an appointment, they could be able to get a contract and all that through him. It doesn't make any difference. So they are ready to defend defend his 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 alleged link with the drug uh, uh, business in Chicago in the nineties. Even when they don't know much about it, to be frank, even when they don't know much about it, because by Onanoga, what he talks about is what he studied and read in the media like some of us. I doubt if Aswad Bola Metrubu will call him and begin to educate him on how what the incident, how he played out. But from what Bayon Anoga was sharing on Twitter and everything, which is what we looked at right now, he is confident that the matter has been settled, that it is no longer an issue, that after 10 years, a person who, who was uh, indicted or who forfeited money to the U.S. government, which was a, a typical example of admission of crime, like a plea bargain, the person after 10 years is free to contest for election in Nigeria. And of course, we have seen that they are not, it's not true. We have seen the section that deal with the issue that the one that is concerned as what Bola Metinubu, he cannot enjoy the privilege of uh, being started bad. Is the section that deal with his own matter is for life. Is for life, and that is what it is. But at the end of the day, it is now left for the courts to determine whether Aswad Bola Metinubu is free to contest the 2023 presidential election, whether the forfeiture that he did is not covered by the definition of forfeiture by Arewola, Justice Arewola, who incidentally will have to come and will be in the courts if he did not recuse himself to once again tell us what forfeiture means. And if the if it goes as Nigerians are clamoring that it will be televised live, we'll watch it with keen interest to see what he, how Arewola would define for future in, in terms of what Aswad Bola made Tinubu did in 1993 when he forfeited $460,000 to the United States government, which is alleged to be the proceed of narcotics. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you and yours. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people to watch. Thank you and God bless you and yours.